Hi, welcome to this Embrace Your Geek tutorial on how to create a cover photo or picture for your Facebook business page. Now first thing we're going to do, we're going to be using some online software called pixelr.com. So in your internet browser, if you go to pixelr, that's p-i-x-l-r.com slash express, and that will bring you to this page here where you get different options on where to get a picture from. Now for your Facebook cover picture, it needs to be 850 pixels wide by 315 pixels deep. So that's 150 wide by 315 high. Now to make this easy for you, I've actually um, put a template online for you to be able to get. So if you go to Click on the open URL option, the one in the middle there, and go to http colon colon, then embrace your geek, it's e m b r a c e, yourgeek.com slash images slash fb cover dot jpg so that's http colon forward slash forward slash embrace your geek.com slash images slash fb cover then click on open okay so now you've got a picture which is 850 pixels wide by 315 pixels deep or high and the next thing we want to do is <coughs> Put in the picture we want. Now you can put in your you could put in your logo here if you wanted to. You could put in um, you could put in some information about your company. Now the things you're not allowed to do, and that Facebook frown upon, they frown upon you creating an arrow that points to your like button <coughs> on your page. They also don't like you to have a call of action, so they don't like you to be selling a product on here or be telling something they need to, somebody they need to do something else to continue on or email us here or they don't like any of that really so you know you could have maybe show some products off maybe a, a nice photo of a product or a photo of something that's relative to the business that you do in this situation we're, we're, we're keeping on we're giving a theme of a, a tour guide in London so we're going to put in a picture of London now one of the things that um, you'll need to realize is that on the bottom left in this area here your actual profile picture on your page will actually encroach on this area. So you generally don't want to put anything too important in this area, um, you know, text or anything like that. You actually want people to read because it will get covered up by a photo. And we'll come back to that a bit later on. So all we're going to do really here now is just, is just actually stick a photo in and create a basic page. Obviously, you can get other people to create more elaborate pages. Using this template, you could put in text or other things that you wanted to do as well. So we click on adjustment. And then we go on to this option here, add image. Click on that. Then click on the browse option. And now I'm just going to pick up on a photo that I downloaded earlier on. A photo that is royalty free that I'm allowed to use. So, you know, um, be careful here. You, you really shouldn't be going off the internet and just searching um, and grabbing any old image from any website. It may be copyright protected. So make sure that you are allowed to use any photos images that you get from the internet. As we can see, this photo <coughs> is a little bit big. Um, you know, the chance of you finding a photo that's exactly the same size isn't is, is going to be unlikely. Okay, so I've got a couple of options here. One is I can just move, I can just click in this area outside the picture, but inside this white box that allows me to move the picture around. If I think, well, actually, I'd like to get more of the uh, the ship in there. Then if I just click on one of these circles here, and just while I'm still holding down the mouse button, I can drag it. That means I can make the picture a little bit smaller. Maybe we'll go there a bit more. Okay, now I've got a bit too far, as you can see. I now can't actually, I've got some white edges. So if I just bring that out a little bit, there we go. And then I can just move the picture around until I'm happy. Once I'm happy, I then go down to the bottom and I can click apply. Okay, and now there is my uh, my cover photo for London. So I'm now going to save that. 
you can call it whatever you like. I mean, I always like to call some, call the file name something that I am going to um, remember. Okay. Right. So that's now saved and all ready for me to add to my Facebook page, which we'll come on to later.